Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely shatter breaking 80 this year. There's three things that I'm gonna share with you that if you're not doing these things, it's gonna make it extremely difficult to do so. You've probably been working at this for a little while. It seems just out of reach, but you know that you can do it. So stick to the end, because I'm gonna give you something that'll help you get there 100% guaranteed. Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Thomas, and I'm here to help you play your best golf help you succeed on and off the golf course. So the first thing I wanna get right to it is taking care of your body. I know this, this sounds silly, this sounds obvious, but how many people are getting a beer at the turn who are just like, oh, I need to relax a little bit, right? I need to take the edge off, or you're having one on the first tee. It's like, listen, I'm sorry, but my two cents is it's just not gonna help you. Anybody who says they're playing their best golf by by having a beer or anything with that like that, um, can do it for three holes, but they can't do it for six and they sure can't do it for 18. So, and there's nothing wrong with drinking on the golf course, trust me. Have your beers afterwards, celebrate. I'll have one with you, you know? I want you to enjoy yourself out there. I'm talking about being able to push yourself and really when you're going to do your best, if you're including things like that, it's just not gonna help you get there. Second part of that is just to anticipate your needs, you know? Make a couple snacks for yourself. I always put a um, like a 64 ounce uh, like meal replacement shake that I do. Um, we have a couple videos up here that'll talk about foods that you can have. Um, it's definitely something to be anticipated. Understand that you're going to be out there. Look at the weather for the day. Look at the sunshine. What's the heat at? And just anticipate how much water you need and and some of the things that you can have to make sure that your light in your head right if anytime i get like dehydrated my thinking goes it goes to shit so i have to put the things in my body that are going to help me get to the finish line and then some so i want you to be able to be refreshed out there i want you to have what you need nutritionally so like i said check out some of those programs up there we want to help you on that front as well the number two part of this is to be intentional about where you direct your mind, your focus during this whole event, right? What is it that you're focusing on on every single round? Um, where is it that you're going back to before every shot? What is your primary focus for the day, right? What are the things that you're telling yourself over the ball and throughout your round, right? It's important to work on your mind just as much as your golf swing because when that bad shot comes up, not if, it's golf, you know, you're going to have those bad shots. When that shot comes up, how do you react to that? Do you go par, par, birdie, par, or maybe you're one over through six, and then you have one bad shot where it's like, oh, I always hit that shot. I always blow my driver right. I can never hit it out of bunker shots. Start to notice your self-talk around your bunker game, your chipping, your putting, your driving, all of those different clubs. Because if you're not sharp, if you're not believing in what you're doing, if you're not addressing those needs mentally first, then it doesn't matter what technique that you're working on. It's never gonna work. If I sit there and say, I suck at putting, I can never make anything outside of 15 feet. You're right. Whether you think you, you can or you can't, you're right. And you can either be right or you can start to do something about it and really be proactive about what it is that you feed your mind, right? If you want to level up a little bonus to that, read a couple books. I've got a couple books up here that I love to read in the game of golf. Fearless Golf is the name of one of them. Golf is a game of confidence. Start to look at the game on that side. If you've been working on your golf swing and just, just feel like you need to get the right technique, Trust me, if you're going from low 80s to try and break 80, your biggest opportunity is to work in between the ears. You start working on that stuff, you are going to thrive on the golf course. You're gonna to start to set your standards way past breaking 80 to start to see yourself starting to shoot mid 70s. And if that feels like your heart gets pumping and it's like, well, I don't think I really could, I genuinely encourage you to work on that because that, we all have what I would call a thermostat, right? If I set my thermostat to shoot 78, as soon as I shoot maybe 38 on the front, I'm gonna find a way to climb up to, to be able to shoot like 80 uh, overall. So you have to push way past that and start to set your internal thermostat at like 72, 73, really start to see yourself doing it. When you start to tell yourself that, your mind's gonna come up with how it is that you actually did that on the golf course. So 
I encourage you to take a look at that. Super easy exercise, something anybody can do. And it is just the biggest asset. If you have a good enough swing, you can get yourself to start to work on the things that, that will really get you over the edge and finally push through that 80 into what you know you're capable of doing. And the third thing, the most important thing out of all of this, you gotta trust yourself out there. There's gonna be plenty of times on the golf course where it's like, it really doesn't seem like you're gonna be able to do it. Tell yourself today is the day. I am going to break this record. I'm gonna push way past where I feel comfortable doing so. I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna push past any boundaries, any negative thinking, any limiting beliefs, and I'm gonna go right for my goal. At some point you have to trust your swing and at some point you have to trust yourself. And if you're not doing those things out there, that's where the double bogeys come in. That's where you start to taper off at the end of the round. Take care of those first two things first by taking care of your nutrition and your mental game, but you gotta trust it at some, at some point. You know, I see a lot of players who get out there and just, they lose it on the 14th, 15th hole and they go double and they get a triple in there and it's, it's hard to watch because you know that people are capable of so much more. You gotta take a stand for yourself and just trust that you're doing the right things Trust the process that you're on and just just really go for it. Give yourself that opportunity. You know, what would it be like if you could really exceed at this goal and excel at it and really set a new standard for yourself? So if that's something that really resonates with you, I'm inviting people. I have an application down below to work with me. I can guarantee you that I can help you get there, but I don't teach everybody. I don't coach everybody. It's just for people that are hungry that know that I really want to get the result this year. So I'm inviting you to participate in that. Fill that out down there. It's for the people that are hungry and really want to make a difference this year. And if you're with me, this golf thing, I want to, I want to talk to you about this. This golf thing is only the beginning, right? How we do anything is how we do everything. What I noticed in my life is the better golf that I was playing, the more I put into my game, the more focus I put in, into it. I had some big golf goals. The more I put into those, the better my relationships got, the better my business got, the better my health got, all of these other things in my life that just truly made a difference. I invite you to come and participate in the program, work together. There's an application, like I said, down below. I don't accept everybody. It's definitely an exclusive group. So if you are interested in that, that's certainly an option for you. And I feel like I can feel where you're at right now. I was there to myself where I was struggling to, to break 80 for me, was trying to get past my best. And I felt like for two, three, four years, I was just after it. And I was in so much turmoil because I thought I was doing the right things. And the truth is, I just didn't know what I didn't know, right? There were so many things that were keeping me from success. And I promise you that we can uncover those. Any of those limiting beliefs, any of those ideas that tell you you're not good enough on the golf course, your swing doesn't need fixing, you're not broken. We just need to tap into your superpower, get you to where you know you can play and follow through. Make a plan and execute on the plan. That's what I can help you with. So that's all I have for you guys today. Check out some of the other videos. Come along for the ride. This is going to be our best season yet, and we're just getting started. Again, my name is Matthew Thomas. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time.